today I'd like to share with you my cilantro lime shrimp wraps. The ingredients we will need, three tablespoons of smoked paprika, one half teaspoon of dried oregano, one half teaspoon cumin, one quarter teaspoon garlic powder, a little salt and pepper to taste, one tablespoon of butter divided in half, one half of medium onion, thinly sliced, three to four tablespoons of chopped cilantro, two bell peppers, thinly sliced, one pound medium or large shrimp. You may choose to use raw shrimp and steam them yourself. These have already been steamed. And for serving our dish after it is prepared, you will need lettuce leaves if you want to do a lettuce wrap. This is butter lettuce one avocado, a lime, or you may choose to use tortilla wraps. This one happens to be sun-dried tomato. First thing, I'm gonna transfer my shrimp over to this mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna add half of the smoked paprika to the shrimp. We're gonna add half of our garlic powder, oregano, and cumin to our shrimp. And half of our salt and pepper. We're going to mix this together, coating the shrimp with the seasoning. each one gets its fair share. Don't want any of them to feel left out. That smoked paprika is incredible. We're going to add one tablespoon of our cilantro to our shrimp. And then we need to slice our lime so we can add some lime juice to our shrimp. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of lime to our shrimp. So I'm just gonna squeeze in maybe two wedges. We'll see. Depends on how juicy the lime is. It looks like I'm gonna need two wedges. Again, we're gonna to toss that around. Get that lime juice and cilantro mixed in there real good. Next, we're gonna go heat up our pan. We need a saute pan, a half tablespoon of our butter on medium high heat. Be about six on my stove. Once our butter is melted, we can add our shrimp to it. You hear that sizzle? Our pan's getting nice and hot. So we're gonna cook our shrimp about four minutes on medium to high heat. If you overcook shrimp, it will lose a lot of water and shrivel up on you. And you'll have teeny tiny shrimp when you thought you bought big, fat, juicy, plump shrimp. All we're trying to do is gently brown them. So I think they're about done for right now. We are going to be returning the shrimp back to the saucepan after we add our other ingredients. So for now, I'm going to take the shrimp out and place them on a plate. Doesn't that look delicious? I could eat that right there. I would say dinner's ready. <laughs> what do you think? Add our other half tablespoon of butter to our pan. I think this pan's a little dry. I'm gonna add a little olive oil with the butter. Still has that nice buttery flavor with a, with a little extra help. 
all that yummy goodness that's on the bottom of the pan. You don't want that to stay down there. You need to scrape that up. And we're just going to add our onions. bell pepper, the other half of our seasoning, a cilantro, and take the other half of the lime that we didn't use and just squeeze it right over these vegetables. Add that nice citrus flavor. And we're going to saute these until they become lightly cooked. We don't want to overcook them. A little soft, but still tender. I just love to cook with colorful vegetables. I think appearance and color and just makes the food taste better, too. So now we're going to add our shrimp back to the pan and give that a good mix. Mix them all together. Can you smell that? Is that not yummy, 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 incredibly yummy delicious? I think we're ready. Well, I'll show you how I serve it. A couple of different ways you can do it. So like I said earlier, you can use a tortilla wrap. And I'm just going to spoon some out, put it right down the middle. Wonderful. I'm just going to fold uh, one end of the wrap up like that. Fold that over about one third. Fold this one over about one third. Flip it over, lay it down on its seam. Then you have this wonderful, lovely cilantro lime shrimp wrap. We'll set that aside. If you're watching your carbs and you want to cut back, carbs, then just use lettuce leaves. I have butter lettuce here. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the center of that, just like that. You can serve it with a few slices of avocado, a couple of lime wedges, and there you have it.